Mars shares some similarities with Earth. Similar tail length, axial tilt, and even has polar ice caps. However, unlike Earth, Mars water exists only in frozen form. But scientists believe that billions of years ago, liquid water was present on Mars, forming rivers, lakes, and even oceans. Today, we will replicate that. Or at least see how current Mars would look if it were covered with water. To do that, we need Mars elevation map a map that shows the highs and lows of its surface. By the way, you can check out my previous video where I explain how negative and positive elevation are defined. But back to Mars, what really stands out is that the Northern Hemisphere is way lower than the Southern Hemisphere. There is a huge drop, several kilometers actually. And the Northern Hemisphere isn't just lower, it's also way flatter, way smoother. We can see this clearly in this smoothness map which measures local deviations in altitudes. This extreme contrast between the two hemispheres is what's known as the Mars dichotomy. Why this exists? Well, we are not quite sure, and to be honest, it's not really relevant for today's video. What's important is that because of its lower altitude, the northern hemisphere will turn into an ocean. Let's see it in action. Let's fill Mars with water. So this is how Mars would look like if it had similar water coverage to Earth. As expected, most of the landmass is concentrated in the southern hemisphere, forming what is essentially one giant continent, although there are some separations here and there. Also, what I find interesting is that if we rotate Mars a bit, this part kinda looks like India, with Sri Lanka just a bit higher up than usual. Or you can also claim that this looks like Africa and this is Madagascar, up to you I guess. But what you need to bear in mind is that this island contains Mars' highest mountain, Olympus Mons. In fact, this isn't just Mars' highest mountain, it's the tallest mountain in the entire solar system, standing at almost 22 kilometers, more than twice the height of Mount Everest. Finally, due to the many craters in the southern hemisphere, Blue Mars would be filled with inland seas, lakes, and many archipelagos. Hmm, that looks familiar. And that's because I did the same with the moon. If you haven't seen it, you can check this video here. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.